Hello everyone, I hope you are doing well. In this video, I am going to do a review of the Lexington Pen by Franklin Covey. In this review, I'm going to talk about the pros and cons of this pen. Then I'm going to talk about the ink pens that I use in my planner. And then I'm going to give you my overall view of this ink pen. So now let's get into the pros of the Lexington pen. The biggest pro of this ink pen, in my opinion, is how it looks. This ink pen looks expensive. It looks professional. It looks rich and handsome. And that's what attracted me to the ink pen. But you know what's a trip? Guess what I paid for this ink pen? I only paid $14.95. And actually, I feel like I overpaid because right now, FranklinPlanner.com is having a summer sale and it's for sale cheaper than what I paid. It's only $10.46 right now as at the time of this video. And I'll link the link below underneath this video if you would like to go to the website and take a look at it. But it looks way more expensive than it really is and I consider that a pro of the Lexington pen. The next pro is that this Lexington pen appears to be related to the Cross brand pen company and cross is known for making great ink pens and so that makes me feel better about the ink pen knowing that it's made by a reputable company such as cross I believe Franklin planner or Franklin Covey and the cross company may have gotten together to make this ink pen but don't quote me on that but it appears on the website that those two companies are related in some type of way so another pro to this ink pen is that it has a lifetime mechanical guarantee. So it that tells me that they are confident that this ink pen is going to work for a long time. The next pro to this ink pen is the feeling that I was able to customize my ink pen. On the Franklin Planner website, you can choose what type of pen tip you want. You could choose if you want a ballpoint pen tip, a rollerball pen tip, or a fountain pen tip, although the fountain wasn't available on the website at the time that I purchased it. Now also, not only can you choose the pen tip, you can choose your barrel color. So that means you can choose the outside of your pen and that made me feel like it was more of a kind of like a custom ink pen for my planner. So when it came to pen tips, I had to do some research online because I didn't really know the difference between a ballpoint pen, a rollerball pen, and a fountain pen. And I'm not an ink pen expert by any means. And I tried to find some pictures of the different types of pen tips online, but I had trouble finding a picture that I can insert here in the video. But after doing some research, I decided to get the rollerball pen tip because I do a lot with my hands. I work all day long on the computer, I type all day, and then I write extensively in my planner. And guess what? My hand gets fatigued. So it was important for me to choose a pen tip that wrote very smoothly, very easily. I didn't want it scratching the paper. I wanted a smooth writing experience. And from my research, I found that out of all of the pen tips, the rollerball pen tip writes the most smoothly. Are you finding this video helpful? If so, will you please hit the like button and also please consider subscribing to my channel. All of the items shown in this video can be found on the franklinplanner.com website and you can save money by using discount promo code TANYAPLANS. Now it's time to talk about the pen writing test. I am of the opinion that a great writing ink pen is everything in your planner. If I have a great pen, it makes me feel like I don't mind writing in my planner. You know, have you ever like bought a house and you're sitting at the mortgage company and you're signing all those papers? Well, a couple of times that I signed those papers, they gave me a great writing pen and the pen does something with the experience. It makes you feel like you're signing important documents. It makes you feel like you're important. That's what a good writing ink pen does, even though in actuality I just signed my life away, you know, signing these mortgage papers. But 
I don't mind paying a little more for an ink pen if it will make me have that feeling about when it's time to write something. So when I was writing with the Lexington pen, I felt it was a smooth writing experience, which is what I expect with a rollerball pen. When I looked at my handwriting up close, I didn't see any skips in the ink. So that told me that the ink was flowing from the ink pen nicely. I did notice that the pen tip is cushiony. Now it did not retract while I was writing. I didn't even notice it, but I did after reading some reviews I ended up pressing in on the tip just to see how cushiony it was and so you could apply a little more pressure and probably disperse a little more ink from the ink pen if you use the tip a little bit harder or if you write harder but I overall I found the writing experience pretty good. I couldn't help but compare the ink pen to the current ink pen that I use which is the cross edge and I'll be discussing at the end of this video. This ink pen wrote lighter than my current cross edge pen. Now most people I think prefer thinner pen tips. They like those thin tips. I'm the opposite. I actually like a pen that writes dark and writes thick. So I did notice right off the bat that the Lexington pen did not write as dark as my cross edge. The ink seemed to dry pretty quickly. I did not notice any smudging with the ink pen. And when I looked at the paper on the other side, I wanted to see if there was any like bleed through in the paper. I didn't see any. Now it does appear there was some bleed through when I was writing, when I, when I told you I was pressing down hard on the paper, but that's mostly a shadow from what I was writing and because I was pressing hard. But for the most part, I don't feel that the pen bled through the Franklin Covey Planner original paper. So overall, I feel the pen writing experience was normal. Also, I wanted to mention that the pen cap snaps on very tightly. I had a little trouble getting the pen cap off at first, but once I got the hang of it, I was fine. And when I put the cap back on the pen um, at the end when I'm finished writing, I have to push it in a little bit and it snaps tightly. Now let's talk about some cons of this ink pen. I did notice that the refill colors on the Franklin Planner website were limited. I only saw black ink refills for this ink pen. I did see a note on their website that says because of the current COVID-19 circumstances, it may have an impact on operations, so that could be why. However, I feel that because this pen was made in cooperation with the Cross Pen Company, you may be able to go over to the Cross website and get ink pen refills. I did glance at the Cross website and I saw pen refills for the colors of blue, purple, and red, for example. But you want to verify that those pen refills were fit before you buy it for this ink pen. Now one thing that surprised me about this ink pen was its weight. I assumed that because of the chrome, this would be a heavy ink pen. I've picked up other ink pens that look similar to this and they're normally heavy. This pen is not heavy. Now it doesn't feel like hollow and cheap and plasticky. No, not at all. The chrome is real like metal chrome, but the pen weighs like I would say between a light and a medium weight. So I'm just letting you know that don't expect a heavy ink pen when you get it. And at this price point, that's understandable. So now I want to briefly talk about the two ink pens I currently use in my planner. I mostly use right now the Cross Edge pen, which is also on the Franklin Planner website. I use that pen and I love it. It's heavy, it writes dark, the lines are thick, it's what I like. I also use the Pilot Fixian pens when I'm writing something that I might want to erase. So if I'm writing numbers, if I'm trying to figure out my budget and I know I'm going to be erasing numbers, I will use that pilot fixing and pen. And again, I'll have these things linked underneath the video if you're interested to see what I use. So now it's time for my overall opinion on the Lexington pen. 
I think the biggest selling point of this pen is how rich it looks for the price point. It is a very handsome, classic, traditional, rich looking ink pen at a very good price point. If you're trying to make a great impression but not break the bank, then get this pen. I really think it is a great choice and you can't go wrong. Now would I personally be using this ink pen now to replace my cross edge? I don't think so. I love my cross edge ink pen so much just because it writes darker than this ink pen and it feels more heavier and substantial in my hand. And I am definitely probably won't be giving up my Frixian ink pens because they have the ability to erase and I need that from time to time in my planner. So that is my overall review. I hope you found this information helpful. Please let me know in the comments the ink pens that you use in your planner or that you just use period from day to day. Please don't forget to like this video. This is Tanya helping you feel more organized so this can be your best year yet. Take care.